Prince Harry's new book, Spare, has officially hit bookstores around the world. So let's count down the 10 most scandalous revelations from Harry's bombshell memoir that not only shook the royal family, but the entire world. I don't think that we can ever have peace with my family unless the truth is out there. 10. Harry thought Diana faked her death. A large portion of Prince Harry's new memoir is dedicated to the late Princess Diana, and Harry talks at length about the trauma of losing his mother when he was just 12 years old. Yeah, I have no doubt that my mum would be incredibly proud of me. I'm living the life that she wanted to live for herself, living the life that she wanted us to be able to live. Harry revealed he was so overwhelmed by grief when his mother died that he spent many years convinced that Diana faked her own death to escape the constant media intrusion into her life. You, you didn't believe she was dead? For a, long, for a long time. I just refused to accept that she was, she was gone. Her life's been miserable. She's been hounded, harassed, lied about, lied to, Harry writes in his memoir. So she staged an accident as a diversion and ran away. Even after four years following Diana's death, Harry said he'd wake up thinking his mother was alive somewhere after having forged a new life and a new identity. I mean, you, you really believe that maybe she had just decided to disappear for a time? For a time and then that she would call us and we would go and join her. Yeah. How long did you believe that? Yes. I suppose I knew the truth deep in my heart, Harry writes. The illusion of mummy hiding, preparing to return, was never so real that it could blot out reality entirely, but it blotted it out enough that I was able to postpone the bulk of my grief. 9. Harry's Blind Date with Meghan Back in 2017, Harry and Meghan revealed during their first joint interview that they were set up on a date by a mutual friend, but they refused to reveal who this friend was to protect her privacy. How did you first meet? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, we first met, we were introduced actually by a mutual friend who um, we will... We should protect our privacy protect and not our privacy, reveal yeah. too much of that. And, um, but it was, it was literally, it was through her. Megan also claimed at the time that her first meeting with Harry was a blind date and insisted she didn't know much about Harry or his family when they first met. The friend who introduced you, was she trying to set you up? Yes, it was definitely yes. a setup. It was a blind it was date. It was a blind date and, for sure. and it's so interesting because we talk about it now, and even then, I, you know, because I'm from the States, you don't grow up with the same understanding of, of the royal family. And mm. so while I now understand very clearly there's a, a global interest there, I didn't know much about him. And so the only thing that I had asked her when she said she wanted to set us up was I had one question. I said, Well, is he nice? Because if he wasn't kind, it just didn't. It didn't seem like it would make sense. But it looks like Harry and Meghan no longer care about privacy that much, because in his new book, Harry finally revealed the identity of the woman who introduced him to Meghan. Harry revealed it was his childhood friend, Violet von Westenholtz, who played the matchmaker after he saw Meghan on Violet's Instagram. According to Harry, he saw a video of Violet and Meghan playing with a dog filter on Instagram, but the filter didn't stop him from noticing what he describes as Meghan's breathtaking beauty. I traveled around the world from top to bottom literally, Harry writes. For 32 years, I'd watched as a conveyor belt of faces pass by and only a handful ever made me look twice. This woman stopped the conveyor belt. This woman smashed the conveyor belt to bits. I'd never seen anyone so beautiful. 8. King Charles and Harry's real father Rumors about Harry having a different father from his brother Prince William have been swirling around for years, with several sources claiming James Hewitt is Harry's real dad. James Hewitt is a former cavalry officer officer in the British Army who claimed he had an affair with Princess Diana from 1986 to 1991. James Hewitt was the dashing army officer who met his princess in 1986, igniting a five-year love affair. And as you can see, the resemblance between James and Harry is uncanny. And although James denied being Harry's biological father, the rumors were so persistent that, according to Harry, even King Charles made jokes about Harry not being his son. Harry revealed in his memoir that King Charles often made jokes about his paternity, which Harry thought were sadistic. Harry recalls how King Charles would laugh and laugh, though it was a remarkably unfunny joke, given the rumors circulating just then that my actual father was one of Mummy's former lovers. 
lovers, Major James Hewitt. According to Harry, one cause of this rumor was Major Hewitt's flaming ginger hair, and another cause was King Charles's sadism. 7. Camilla leaks stories to the press Harry pulled no punches dragging his family in his new memoir, and after he branded his father sadistic, he called out his stepmother, Queen Consort Camilla, claiming she's a dangerous villain. Prince Harry told Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes that Camilla was dangerous because of the connections that she was forging with the British press. She was the villain. She was the third person in the marriage. She needed to rehabilitate her image. In his memoir, Harry also directly accused Camilla of planting fake stories in the British press about Prince William cheating on Kate Middleton with Rose Hanbury. According to Harry, the stories that started popping up in the press contained pinpoint accurate details from private conversations, and he writes that the leaking had obviously been abetted by the new spin doctor Camilla had talked Pa into hiring. 6. Harry's first time with an older woman For someone who constantly complains about privacy and his family leaking stories, stories to the press, Harry sure leaked a whole lot of private stuff himself in his explosive memoir. Among many other TMI moments in Spare, there's one very cringy part where Harry details losing his virginity to a horse-loving older woman. Harry called his first-time experience an inglorious episode, adding that the unnamed woman liked horses quite a lot and treated him not unlike a young stallion. He writes, quick ride after which she smacked my rump and sent me to grace. Harry also added added that there were many things about his first time experience that were wrong, and one of them was the fact that it happened in a grassy field behind a busy pub. 5. Harry had frostbite on his private parts If you thought the story about Harry's first time was embarrassing, wait till you hear the part where he talks about dealing with frostbite on his private parts. For some reason, Harry felt the need to share that he used the same cream on his private parts that his mom, Princess Diana, used on her lips. One Twitter user who shared this particular excerpt from the audio version of Spare called it a Freudian nightmare, while others said that they could have happily gone the rest of their lives without knowing this information. Listen to this at your own risk. My p*** is oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. The last place I wanted to be was Frost Nippistan. I've been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? It works, Harry. Trust me. I found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. I felt as if my mother was right there in the room. Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. Four, Megan told Kate she has baby brain. One of the first leaks from Harry's bombshell memoir was Harry's account of Megan and Kate's rumored feud. Harry recalled an uncomfortable meeting with Will and Kate at Kensington Palace, revealing that Kate got upset because she had trouble remembering something. And Megan commented that Kate's baby brain must have affected her memory. Kate was understandably offended by this comment, but Harry claimed that that's just how Megan speaks to all her friends. Harry writes that William called Megan rude for talking about his wife's hormones and pointed a finger at her, telling her, these things are not done here. However, Megan refused to apologize and fired back at William, saying, if you don't mind, keep your finger out of my face. But despite Megan's rude remark about Kate, Harry defended his wife's behavior, claiming that Megan just didn't understand why Kate was upset. Megan said that she had never intentionally done anything to offend Kate, Harry writes. And if she had, she begged her to let her know so she could avoid a reoccurrence. 3. Will and Kate made Harry wear a Nazi uniform. Form. Back in 2005, Harry caused a huge controversy in the UK when he wore a Nazi uniform to a costume party themed Native and Colonial. At the time, Harry publicly apologized and claimed he had learned his lesson. However, in his new memoir, he decided to blame the whole situation on William and Kate, claiming they gave him the idea for the Nazi uniform. I phoned Willie and Kate and asked what they thought. Nazi uniform, they said, Harry writes, adding that William and Kate both howled when they saw he actually wore the uniform. Uniform. 2. Harry T5 People One of the most bizarre claims Harry made in his memoir is his disturbing revelation that he 25 people while serving in Afghanistan. Harry said he didn't think of those 25 people as human beings, but rather as chess pieces, claiming that he's neither proud nor ashamed of what he did. So, my number? 25. It wasn't a number that gave me any satisfaction, but neither was it a number that made me feel ashamed. However, Harry's admission provoked a lot of controversy among fans and military figures, with many of them accusing Harry of breaking the unspoken military code. Well, I think he's an idiot. I mean, I think saying anything about the number of people 
And my, my father was in the Second World War, and I once asked him as a child if he killed anyone, and he was very reluctant to say anything about it. On top of that, Harry was also slammed for putting his family and all serving soldiers in danger with his reckless claims. But Harry denied all of this, and during his recent interview with Stephen Colbert, he defended his decision to talk about it and accused the media of twisting his words. Without doubt, the most dangerous lie that they have told is that I somehow boasted about the number of people that I killed. If I heard anybody else, if I heard anyone boasting about that, Kind, kind of thing, I would be angry. One, Prince William physically attacked Harry. Arguably, the biggest bombshell from Harry's new book is his claim that Prince William physically attacked him just because he defended Meghan from the British press. While the brothers' strained relationship has been extensively covered by the media for the past few years, this is the first time we're hearing William actually try to physically fight Harry because of Meghan. The altercation took place back in 2019, and Harry claims that William called Meghan difficult, rude, and abrasive and then Harry fired back, accusing William of parroting the press narrative about Meghan. And then, according to Harry, William grabbed him by the collar, ripping his necklace, and knocked him to the floor. I landed on the dog's bowl, which cracked under my back, the pieces cutting into me, Harry writes. I lay there for a moment, dazed, then got to my feet and told him to get out. Harry addressed the incident again in his recent interview with Tom Bradby, claiming Prince Harry was so angry he was surrounded by red mist. What was different here was this level of frustration. And you know, I talk about the red mist that I had for so many years, and I saw this red mist in him. Harry also claimed William tried to provoke him to fight back, but he chose not to retaliate. He wanted me to, to, to hit him back, but I chose not to. But now it's your turn. Let us know in the comments which part of Harry's new book shocked you the most, and we'll see you in our next video.